guys, it's Tanika from Hits with the Misses, and today we are gonna, we're just gonna have a little chat about routine and rhythm versus schedule, and why I feel like routine and rhythm in a home learning setting is way better and way more functional than a schedule. So before we jump in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button get these notifications so you know as soon as i have another video up it'll come straight to your inbox and we can you know hang out and chat more because i really love doing this with you all okay so one of i wouldn't even call it a question i would but i honestly say concern <laughs> one of the most popular concerns i get from friends or you know followers like how do you do it how do you fit in a day what is your typical day how what time do you get up well a lot of people know what time I get up but you know they want like a 705 to 722 we blah 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 and I can't give them that now if you would have known me before children to the T I would have been able to give you that with really no exceptions. Um, I would have been able to tell you down to what day of the month, every third Friday from, you know, 547 to 733. I will be like, I could have told you that. Um, for those of you who are parents know, children come in and uh, they shake things up. They change the game. And especially for me, having children with, you know, non-typical needs, I, I just, I really had to do a lot of adjusting, a lot of working on me. And I had to submit myself to the needs of my kids. And just to clarify here, I'm not saying that my children are the parents. I'm not saying that, you know, my children make the rules. I am saying that my children have needs. Sometimes very minimal, sometimes pretty typical, sometimes extremely atypical. And if I am going to teach them, train them, show them love, guide them, I have to relinquish kind of what I need, what I want. And again, those needs are like how I would want a schedule, how I would want my child to maybe not need this input or things like that. I have to release that and submit to their needs. And when I do that, our household is, is we're, we're cooking with gas. We're functioning on all cylinders. So I'm very sorry. You will not get a schedule from me. And that is because we don't really have one i can't give you one but what i can tell you is why routine and rhythm work for us especially for me because i had to make a serious mental transition and especially for all of you know our new homeschoolers or those doing distance learners where your days were ruled by time we have to be at the bus stop by this time we you know have to be up by this time you have to eat by this time you know it was ruled by time where now those times are a little different or a lot more flexible and you're still trying to figure out especially you know if you're working at home or whatever you're still trying to figure out how are we going to make this work right this is why i plead to you <laughs> and how i wish someone would have pleaded to me routine and rhythm Okay, so let's say, you know, like your workday may be pretty flexible except for hard and fast meetings or appointments if your children have therapies, you know, things like that. Okay, so I would take those hard and fast times, the things that aren't too flexible, you know, things like that. I would take those, put them in, in ink, and then create rhythm around that, right? So, and I'm not even gonna act like this doesn't happen. Um, 
you know, if my husband has a call or he's leading one, like he has this really big call on Wednesdays. Yeah, on Wednesday afternoons. So I will either try to have my kids out of the house or doing something kind of low-key downstairs because if we're in here, you know, our normal, because we, we get loud, we, we get active, all right? If we're in here like that, it's going to be really hard, honestly, for anyone in that meeting <laughs> to stay focused, okay? So that for us is a rhythm. Do we do the same thing? It's some, I think the meeting starts at like 1.30, I think. It's times it'll be like 1.47. And I'm like, oh, you know what, guys? Let's X, Y, Z, okay? Um, it's just a rhythm, a routine. I kind of instituted movie day Friday because we just kind of, we knew with the pandemic, like we're not going to have our normal go out of the house activities. So I was trying to make stuff in the house more exciting, have, you know, more to look forward to. Do we watch it at the same time? No. Do we do the same? Do I always have themed activities and snacks? No. Sometimes, yes. But the routine, the rhythm, movie on a Friday, right? Um, also, our kids wake up various times okay and we really do kind of let our kids sleep <laughs> um and when i say various times y'all it's not like they're sleeping until 10 20 because i then something would be really wrong i'm saying they could wake up anywhere between 6 20 and 8 o'clock <laughs> really anywhere between those times okay and we set a rhythm with them where, you know, they would come talk to my husband because that is my morning time. And even that was kind of like training. Like, I'm not available. You need to go talk to your dad, right? So his training with him is grooming, okay? Get dressed, all right? Brush your teeth. Did you make your bed? Check, check, check. Okay. Um, and then, you know, that varies because they could be up at the same time, they share a room, or one could be awake before the other. So maybe we're not going to go back in the room and make a lot of noise and wake up our brother, okay? Maybe we're just going to sit here. Um, my husband started talking with him about goals for their day. We have things, um, you know, like little quiet morning starter activities they can do before breakfast. And this is while my husband is starting his work day. He's, you know, checking his emails, planning out his day, all of that stuff. I'm still in my morning time, okay? Um... My husband um, has also started breakfast with them. Now, this routine has all been since pandemic. My husband has been home. We can't do our normal things. We had to find a new rhythm. And I'm so thankful that we were kind of already in rhythm and routine versus schedule because, oh my word, would this adjustment have been so much more incredibly difficult, you know? Um, so... He gives them breakfast and kind of after breakfast is where I will take over and, you know, we will have our morning time. Our morning time consists of uh, what we're studying in prayer. I'll actually have a whole video on our morning time routine, how it works, what I'm using and why. So stay tuned for that. Um, and so we'll have our morning time. They'll do their morning time activities. Uh, we will go outside and play or go for a walk. Then learning time, snack. You know, does it happen at the same time? Am I looking at my watch? Okay, it is 9.53. We need to hit the pay. You know, if it's raining outside, uh, obviously, we're, we, we're probably not going to play outside. So let's turn on the, the workout YouTube playlist that we have. Let's, you know, um, even for me, I started working out while the kids played outside in the morning. But then it just rained for a whole week. So obviously that wasn't working. So I had to go back to a previous rhythm of working out earlier in the garage. I say all of that to say not that you need to have my rhythm my routine. I'm saying all that to say that as someone who 
just was betrothed, really, to schedules, okay? I, I cannot tell you the, the amount of irritation I have absorbed by people being tardy, um, you know, things not being on time, or if I am late, oh my word, I would lose it, okay? But with children with home learning, and here's the thing, it's home learning. So your home is first. Your values, the peace, the all of those things in your home, that comes first. Then the learning, right? And I just really feel like that's what we need to focus on. And when you have a rhythm and routine versus a schedule, okay? So your routine could be, if you, let's say you have like a, a younger baby and an older one. So when your younger baby naps, you might do something else with your older child. It might not be at the same time. It might not last the same time. Um, you know, I don't know. Children met a long time ago and was just like, we're definitely not going to make nap always predictable. We got to shake that up. So you never know. But just have the rhythm. Life will be fuller. <laughs> it will be more simple. It will be more adaptable. Okay? I just truly, truly encourage you to consider a rhythm and routine versus a schedule. And again, there are some things you're, you're not going to be able to just, uh, we'll make it work 15 minutes later or whatever. Okay. And I know for me, my kids feel safe and thrive knowing what's coming next, what's coming next. That can also be a part of your routine. We have visual schedules and charts, and I will say first, second, okay, or first we're going to do this, then after we're all done, we will do this. Then I will tell you what comes next, you know? But it's routine, okay? And if we have a routine, they can get, they can feel more safe because some things are kind of predictable. This is what we do when we wake up. This is what we're having for breakfast this week. This is what we do midday. So, you know, now instead of what's coming next, what's happening next, I might get a, are we going to um, play inside or are we all going to play a game together? You know, like things like that because that's been a part of the routine. So I'm not gonna take up any more of your time here. We've chatted a bit, but I just wanted to come here and share that with you all because it was not shared with me in the beginning and I was stressed. And it's a lot to balance and manage and, and rework. And I just want you to take a deep breath and know it's gonna be okay and just get a rhythm. That's it. All right, I've got more coming your way. Hope to talk to you soon. Bye.